When Venice is known as the city of water which presents beautiful and romantic views, that is not the case with Makoko, a settlement located in the Lagos region of Nigeria which is nicknamed the Venice of Africa. Instead of having beautiful and romantic views of the area that stands on the sea coast of the Atlantic Ocean, actually presents a view that looks dirty, even the environmental conditions around this settlement are very sad. The color of the water in the lagoon looks black and oily, emits a pungent odor and describes unhealthy water conditions, which are then added to the kitchen waste which is scattered around the floating wooden huts. Thus it can be concluded that the only similarity between Makoko and Venetian is that they are both synonymous with water. Makoko is an informal fishing settlement that has no official census records. So there is no exact record of the population in this area. But preliminary estimates suggest that Makoko has a population of around 150,000 to 250,000 people, who only have access to a single English-speaking primary school, located in the center of this area. Makoko was formed in the 18th century as a small fishing village which then spread rapidly to form the large settlement it exists today. The settlements are home to hundreds of thousands of migrant workers originally from the West African nation trying to make a living in Nigeria, most of whom rely on the fishing sector. Water is an integral part of people's lives in Makoko. Because of that all the buildings in this area are based on stilt houses built from wood that are stuck deep into the water. Generally, houses in Makoko are inhabited by around 6 to 10 people. Each house in this area has a boat that functions as a means of transportation around the settlement. A wooden boat is the only tool used to reach every place in this floating settlement. Even this simple boat is also used for fishing and serves as a trading place. The life of Makoko residents is so attached to water that children in this area start learning to row wooden boats when they are still five years old. This is because rowing is the main skill needed to survive in this slum area. For decades, Makoko did not have the basic infrastructure to be considered a livable settlement. This settlement did not even have access to basic facilities such as clean drinking water, electricity and waste disposal. Thus making it vulnerable to environmental and health hazards. Communal latrines that are shared between households coupled with wastewater that flows directly into the waters where they live make the water in this area no longer able to support marine life. On the other hand, the only way to get clean drinking water is to buy it from vendors who get it from boreholes. Meanwhile, the local government deliberately does not provide free water to residents in Makoko, because apart from being considered illegal housing, the government does not want it at all. Makoko residents to live in this area. Even though it is considered an unwanted slum area, slum tourism has become the main activity in this area. 
Many tourists who come to Makoko are fascinated by its nature and conditions. One of the most charming attractions in Makoko is the floating school which was designed by a team of architects. This building is made of wood with a plastic barrel as the base. This school also has classrooms as well as a very limited playground. The structure of this school building is made up of three floors, has a building shape like a triangular prism that can float on water, with a building base made of 256 plastic drums. The floating construction is made from local wood, is powered by solar panels and can accommodate 100 students. The purpose of building this floating school is of course to provide opportunities for children in Makoko who do not have the opportunity to attend school due to poverty and limited geographical factors. Even though they receive many visits from tourists, Makoko residents rarely welcome them properly because residents are always on guard and regard these tourists as spies from the government. They are also cynical about photography, as they think that their photos are being sold for profit. Government efforts to displace Makoko residents in recent years have created bigger problems for relocating homeless people. As residents believe that Makoko is their only culture and thus must be preserved by the government. The government's treatment of Makoko residents adds to their list of failures in building the city of Lagos. The government has long wanted the city of Lagos to become a giant, magnificent city built on the seafront with tall buildings and a prosperous and orderly seaside life. But in reality it ends by presenting a life-dirty seafront and highly polluted and very messy traffic system. <laughs>